This is the histological slides of the products of conception. In case of early abortion, uh, the material from the uterus is uh, examined under the microscope, and uh, the histopathologist needs uh, to exclude ectopic pregnancy and also gestational trophoblastic disease, which includes a uh, hydrotidiform mole, either complete or incomplete, and um, less commonly also invasive mole, choriocarcinoma, placental site trophoblastic tumor, or epithelioid trophoblastic tumor. If we don't see um, chorionic villi, then extrauterine pregnancy cannot be excluded based uh, on the histological examination. So this product of conception consists of blood. Uh, we, co we also commonly see fibrin. Uh, here we have uh, the chorionic villi, which is the most important component. So on the higher magnification, we can see that all of these villi are quite immature, mesenchymal, uh, some of them slightly hydropic, and uh, therefore larger, as in this case, for example. In the center of the chorionic villi, uh, we can see myxomatous stroma uh, without blood vessels, which is the sign of immature uh, trophoblast. Uh, seen in the first trimester. On the periphery, uh, we can see trophoblastic cells. The inner layer creates cytotrophoblast, and the outer layer is composed of syncytiotrophoblast, or fused cells, uh, also called syncytium, where we see multiple uh, nuclei in uh, one cellular structure. The trophoblastic proliferation uh, is usually polar, meaning that we see these butts of the trophoblast in just one side of the chorionic villi. Here is another example of polar proliferation of the trophoblast. Um, atypical features of the trophoblast shouldn't be prominent, and the trophoblastic villi uh, should be more or less circular. Uh, when we find irregular trophoblastic villi with a trophoblastic inclusion and irregular outlines, uh, there is a morphological sign that could be associated with molar pregnancy. In this part of the slide, we have the hypersecretory endometrium. Here we have degener uh, degeneratory secretory endometrial glands. Here we have endometrial epithelium. The glands are complex, irregular, and associated with uh, intraluminal secretions. And in this part of the picture, we can find the sigil changes of the endometrium, which is a hormonal change and a morphological sign of pregnancy. The sigil changes looks like endometrial stroma with uh, voluminous cytoplasm. Uh, the cells have centrally located round nuclei and quite prominent voluminous eosinophilic cytoplasm and uh, clear cytoplasmic outlines and cytoplasmic borders. All sorts of um, degeneratory and regressive changes are often seen. Sometimes we can find neutrophilic infiltration and uh, those are usually secondary changes. So products of conception, thanks for watching.